the University of Alberta has been a, a long-term partner in the uh, hospitals, the, the libraries, other gardens with exchange information, reclamation research, uh, things like that. And we also, if you go way back, we were, Canada was one of the major recipients of a lot of, of uh, refugee Ismaili people. There's a great long-term working relationship of humanitarian work. And this, I think this garden captures some of that. It captures some of the appreciation and the, the give and take and uh, the cooperation. So it's been, a, it's been a really wonderful and very tangible gift to all the people. Now I want to make one other pretty important explanation. When we say Islamic garden, that is a cultural Islamic garden. This is not a, this is not a mosque. This is not a, a place of religion. This is a place for all the people. And that's, that pluralism aspect is pivotal. That's really what this is about. Uh, it's the place to come and hear music, to relax, to... I, could, I think the sigh is probably the, the greatest analogy. If you walk in this garden, you feel the cool microenvironment, you see the beautiful architecture. It's a place to view art, a place to, to eat wonderful food, a place to explore other cultures and express your own. So it's a very welcoming place for, again, all the people. There's nothing more seamless than for all the people at University of Alberta, and that is the essence of pluralism.